Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're over on Kiasma's account to do some end game testing of Ezio. Now, we are going to have level 30 signature item. We've already gone ahead and done that, if I can find the man. There he is. Um, going to have level 30 signature item. However, I'm not going to go into the furniture because we've got six select furniture tickets, but I don't want to use them because apparently the furniture select tickets, the, the select hero tickets for furniture, uh, you don't get duplicate items of furniture. So I don't want to use them. And then when I summon, summon du duplicates and then not be able to fill him out once I get the nine. So complicated thing, but I'm just going to leave it just to play it safe. Uh, plus it's the nine furniture that I really want to test anyway. So we're going to do 30 signature item, zero furniture, test, end game. Hopefully he's a beast. Let's get into it. Okay, here he is. I just upgraded him to level 30 Syntron. As you can see, we've got maxed out gear, which is perfect. Uh, as for this, I'm going to use him with Taylene. So I don't really... I, I feel like Blade would work well on him because it increases his, his attack as the battle goes on, which means he gets a higher limit on his execution threshold or whatever they call it. I, mean, I call it execution. Anyway, he gets that. So I think... We might take the Jura's Eye. We'll, we'll give him Jura's Eye and see how this pans out. Uh, we'll test him in some campaign, and then we'll go ahead and also test him uh, in some duels against other people. So, what I'm looking at here is, let's take a look at our teams. I can't... Okay. So, as you can see, we're, we're, we're pretty unsorted here. So, what we'll do is we'll take him in against the first enemy... Just to get just to get a vibe for him, we'll let the others fail, and then we'll we'll address it and try and work on some other teams. But the first thing I want to do is test him in the front row, just to see if he's dodgy enough to dodge, dodgy enough to dodge. Yes, I just said that. Okay, that's cool. So we're gonna use him with Taylene. The the comp uh, that I have been suggested uh, from. I, I, I Famas or Obito from Discord, he said he was using him with this combo here with the Rowan and the Twins and it was working pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and test that. Like it's pretty much just the God comp with him in there instead of Mahira or Tassi or whoever you want to put in there. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do that like this. Actually, we can probably put Rowan there for this one if we're going to test him in the front row. So let's just Let's just let the others wipe. I just want to test this and see how he goes. So he got that initial dodge. I mean, I didn't have it on auto, which is my mistake. Uh, but he's actually... He's surviving way too well. Look at him. He's not taking... Any, oh, there he goes. Now he's getting nuked. Okay, we need, we need him to go assassinate someone. Okay. Uh, can he get a kill? Okay. Not as godly as I thought. We, to be fair, we didn't have... He did dodge a hell of a lot early on. So, what I'm going to do is... Because he's probably not the best one to put in the... Uh, in the front row. We'll let him ramp up a bit. We'll put him in the back row. Leave it on auto this time and see how it goes. So, the smoke bomb's obviously going to be nice. Obviously going to be really nice. Uh, the problem with this comp is that we don't seem to be doing enough damage to get anyone into execute range at the moment. But we'll see how he goes. That's pretty much where he caps out. He's going to go ahead and execute the... Um, what's her face? The Sophia. Uh, Warwick's almost in range as well. So is K-Source. There goes K-Source. Another smoke bomb. Okay, this is working a lot better. So this comp I definitely think will work. And I think this is going to be solid in PvP as well, for sure. Okay, but now the test comes. What I, The other thing I wanted to test him in... The other thing I wanted to test him in is... Because now we can get like a solid... Uh, a solid team of dimensionals. So I was thinking something like... Do we have Kazard built on this one? We do. So I was thinking the Kazard Mahira comp with him. But then we throw in either another dimensional, a celestial or... I just feel like this comp, because this comp here with Arthur, Kazard, and Mahira, and I know this is not free-to-play stuff. <laughs> I, I get that, but hey, we're, we're on this, this account. We're going to make the use of what we have. So my, my thought is this team here combined with either a Celestial, a Hypergene, or, 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 or another Dimensional. Maybe, maybe we try Nakaruru. Maybe we put Nakaruru in the front row. Maybe we put her there. Has she got gear? That's the question. 
she does. So let's try this just for the fun of it and see what happens. But then we'll have to try and think of a team where he can sort of carry the, the whole team where we're not using like a really good comp as the main part of it anyway. Um, but let's see how this goes. Mahira should get the mind control pretty soon. I mean, it, it's kind of counterintuitive having him with the Khazard because the idea is Khazard freeze them, freezes them when they get low. Uh, however, just the damage of Khazard's real nice. So if we if we let this fail, I guess we could bring the Mezoth in there as well to get that bonus. So let's check this one. Let's check the damage charts. Yeah, Khazard just does a ton of damage. So that kind of works. Okay, now let's think of... Now, I want because basically when you get to these five teams, I want to have one team being like a Gwyneth comp, one team being... So we, you could use like the Gwyneth Zolrath comp as one with Eron, Eron. So we could have Gwyneth comp, Eron comp, then we've got the Khazard team, and then I want to have one here being uh, a lockout comp, and then I want to make Ezio the next one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the team formations that I think, and then we'll come back and see how it goes. Okay, here we go. So I've set, I set up some teams. It took me a while to do. So we're going with the uh, the Khazard team first. Second, we're going with the Gwyneth with the Iron. Uh, the Zolrath isn't built on this account, so we can't do the Zolrath cheese. So basically, I've just gone with Wilder support along with the Gwyneth. Uh, basically, the like of the haste. Basically, if we can on this team get not interrupted with the Iron, we're pretty solid because we should just shred the front row with uh, with the Gwyneth, and then we obviously got Soros. There's not too much CC on this team, uh, so Soros should be able to destroy. The idea behind this is it's got the Aziz, so hopefully our auto attacks can do enough. Um, got the Tassi for the banish. See who she banishes. Who cares? The next team we've got the God Comp with the Wu Kong for the damage dealer, just because we have the Tassi and the Hero taken up. So we're gonna just test that out. See if that that works uh this one i've gone for the dimensional team with him so we'll see how this goes uh obviously i've put the nara and the pharrell in there just because they're really good cc and i feel like feel like these three dimensionals have good damage it's just a matter of if they get shredded too quick but that's why i've got the cc in there to try and hold them out and this one's a questionable team we'll see how this goes <laughs> I, I ran out of options i'm not used to building five teams so let's get into it let's see how we go hopefully we can win the first one hopefully we can win this uh, Lucius already down, but hopefully just the Khazard Bahira can can carry the team. Okay, we've lost her as well, which kind of sucks. But Khazard, once he pops, then it should be when it starts getting half decent. So, Frozen the Scrag. Uh, let's go, let's go. Do not let do not let her ult. Okay, good mind control. Man, Arthur even does some damage. There we go, another one. Frozen. We should be good here. The Mahira keeps healing up, which is an issue, but I think we're pretty good. Man, this is just a good comp. This is a good comp. I, I can't wait for this on my 530. Okay. Battle one. Done. We, we've got to at least get to the Ezio battle. Okay. Now, Gwyneth, it, it's, all, it's all about Gwyneth here. She can do her thing. We're good. If she can't, we're screwed. And like I said, Soros should start doing some massive damage. We'll check out the damage charts if I remember to check them out after this. Um, but that is pretty solid. Happy with that team. This team should win. If, if this team loses, I'll cry. We don't have it in the optimal setup, but it's still a pretty solid setup. Um, just because we do have the Wukong, and obviously once Wukong ults, he's not going to ult again, contributing to the lockout. But hopefully he brings the deeps. So that's all I'm hoping for, which he is he is definitely bringing the deeps. Okay, we're getting the lockout. The Brutus is immune, but we are locking him out from spinning just because of the passive. He's spinning now, so he hasn't done too much damage. We're pretty good. The twins are still going. Yeah, we're, we're solid here. We should be solid. And Wukong can ult again if he loses clones. And we're not going to get timed out. Okay. Good. Okay. I'm honestly, uh, I'm pretty pumped about this. This is working nicely. Here comes the team. Let's see how this goes. There's the smoke bomb. Everyone's surviving decently. We don't have any sustain on the team. So it's a matter of bursting them down before they can burst us down. And then also getting the CC in to help out the team. So Pharrell, his energy reduction is going to be key in this one. Get some big damage. I really need to get that Scrag down because he's starting to do his thing. And once he starts stomping, it's game over. Please, can we get the Scrag? Can we get the Scrag? Ukio putting in some massive work. Okay, Smoke Bomb goes down and he gets it. Okay, nice. I love this. So obviously the threshold stays pretty low against these guys just because of that attack limit. But that was solid. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Can this, this questionable as hell team win it? Please, Sophia. 
We're done. I I was struggling to build the last team. I don't know. I don't know who to build there. Hey, besides that, that was pretty fun. Let's check out damage charts just out of curiosity. So Kazard obviously dominating like a beast, but I mean, not too bad damage there from Arthur for just being the thickest tank around. Uh, obviously Gwyneth and Iron doing some solid damage. I was hoping Cyrus would do better, but because he stacked out, uh, he brought a lot of healing to that team. When you fight against teams without too much uh, CC, you can bring the Cyrus and he's just a functional healer if he doesn't get CC'd, which is nice. So I was happy with that one. Uh, this one here, the God Comp, uh, basically Taylene and Wukong doing that deeps, which is good. Now, this is the one. This is the one. How do we go? I mean, Ukio puts in work in that one. He puts in some serious work. And then, obviously, this last team, we just absolutely suck at. So, I don't know. I feel like he, I feel like those two worked really well, but he dodges a lot, the, the, uh, the um, Ezio. So, it's not too bad i'm pretty excited about that I'm, I'm just gonna leave this like we'll come back in another video and do a push on this account like i mean i really just got to sort out one last team for this last battle and then we should be pretty solid uh even if i swap teams around i just got no sustain in this one i just unless we bring like the totem dude and the nomura unless we completely change it up and do like that that and then try and do wilder more i just thought light bearers because it was a light bearer team uh, what else could we do? Like, we could do the Brutus or the Warwick. Um, I kind of want to stop him. Obviously, the Sophia is going to be an option. Do we put the Athalia front row and then bring, like, a Brutus? And then just rely on the Sophia damage? Problem is if Scrag stomps. Uh, you know what? Let's do it. Let, let's just test it. Let's put it on times four speed. Hopefully, all these battles still get the victory. Uh, Lucius got a shield in this one. I don't know if he got that last time. Yeah, he must have. He must have. If, if one of these lose, uh, I'll cut and come back once we get to it. And if it takes too long, we'll just leave it for another day. <laughs> we'll see how we go. Okay. That's that one. Th this one. Okay. We've had some good procs from Gwyneth. We... I'll be back once we get to that last battle. This is what I'm talking about in this end game content. It's like... Just, just let me, like, if I win that one, I win that one, I win that one. S let me save those wins and then leave those heroes out. And then I can only use them against, uh, use the remaining heroes against battles four and five. So if I win the first three, those heroes are locked out, but I can save that position. Uh, and then I can build the last two. And if I decide it's too hard, have a reset button where you reset the stage and you can go again. I reckon that'd be cool. I don't know. It's just, we'll be back when I get to that last battle. Okay, I must have really lucked out that first time. I keep wiping on the first and second battles. <laughs> I tried about 15 times as then. Couldn't get past them. We're going to leave it there. I'll come back to that another time. This endgame campaign is uh, it's quite frustrating, to say the least. Anyway, okay. Let's look, at, let's look up some friends. Uh, what level are our heroes? So we're 451. Let's look up some friends. Uh, who's on a similar chapter? 34. Here we go. 451 okay this ain't too bad so let's and this is a pretty decent defense comp um you get the five piece faction bonus you've obviously got the ear in there uh let's let's see i want to find like the i want to find the dude who last time had the stall defense Ooh, this is stall with flora that's actually pretty good for it i actually like that mad respect to this team so what we're going to try here is uh, obviously, this guy's pretty good furniture item, pretty good signature items. Uh, tailing is max. Wukong's at three. Flora's at three. I can't see where Orthros is because his thing gets chopped off. Uh, so let's go ahead and bring the comp that I wanted to try. So we're going to do you, 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 and Rowan, and then we'll order it around. I will probably do it like that, 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 that. Uh, I don't know what formation I want to put these in. Can you, can you do this with twins in the front? If we did it like that? Let's, uh, let's go formations actually. Let's save this. Formation nine. Sweet. Okay, that's saved. Because when you do friend duels, when you try and restart, you got to start all again. So let's put it down to two times speed just to see what happens. Uh, okay, twins pop really quick in this one. Okay, Rowan's popping. Ezio's going. The good thing is that he does deal that increased damage against them once he has got the mark on them. Okay, here comes the enemy stall. Can we please get an ult and lock them out? Okay, there we go. Uh, how come that floor... Is floor not affected by it? Because I swear that hadn't been two seconds. 
Tailing's almost going to drop, which is going to hurt our team bad. The Wukong gone clones. Like, there, there's too many things with the things on it now. Wukong is actually a pretty good counter to this. Okay, we got spanked. We got spanked. That sucks. Because Wukong, once you get the clones out, uh, there's too many things for him to try and kill, even though he's not even going to get a chance to. Okay, that guy's a pain. He's five levels above us, but... Uh, Let's try that same team. Let's try that same team, but swap the formation a little bit. So if we go ahead and do row in front row, but I still don't, I'm still not a massive fan of that. Let's put him down here. Let's see how this goes. Let's just have a play. Let's have a play. See, it seems to go pretty well at the start and then it just go, all goes pear shaped. And I mean, that, but that enemy team with Flora, like Flora does some massive damage in this team. And, uh, and obviously the rest of the team is just there to stall out so the Flora can do her thing. Uh, I actually I'm, I'm, I actually like that Flora comp. I, I actually really like it. And as you can see, I don't think she gets she gets fed by the lockout. It doesn't seem like she cops the lockout. As you can see, when, when we use an ult, all the other enemy team has the, the symbol above her, their heads. But Flora is actually immune to it, which is wicked. That is something cool to know. So Flora is a good counter to the god comp. Okay, can we kill things? The problem is Taylene's annoying too because she's just always going to come back. So he's just done his, he's just done the kill on the Taylene. I don't know why she didn't die in that animation. Something about the Orthros animation, like we did the instant kill on her, but she didn't actually die. Okay, there we go. The Athalia is almost in range. The Athalia is almost in range. She keeps getting healed, which kind of sucks. Ah, okay. We're done. We're done. Okay. So we're going to struggle against that. All right, let, let's let's not fight him because he's it's a little bit better, <laughs> and I suck. So let's try this one. Let's go ahead and try this one. We'll try that same team. See how it goes uh, against these. I'm happy to let the Rowan get sucked in actually, because then when he does pop, he's going to stun everyone there. Uh, let's see how this goes. Will will they drag everyone in? Everyone except Aziz, which is okay. We get to go first. If we get the Rowan off here, man, twins twins going ham. Twins going absolutely ham. Okay. Let's see. I want, I want to see Ezio do some work. That was the enemy. These are all the enemies popping. Now we go again. Get a little bit of time of lockout. Rowan, please. Yes. With the stuns. The twins are getting low. Uh, I just don't know. Like, even though Taylene brings good damage, I just feel like we're lacking a little bit of damage in this team. The twins, good, given the cleanse of the sleep. But look at that execution threshold after a long battle. That... That Lyca was at like max health with the execution threshold. That's four levels difference that this has done that. So that's not too bad. Let's check out damage. And once again, I don't think his damage from the executes counts. And he did the, he did the Lyca from about 75, 80% health, I want to say. So it's not too bad. Let's see if we can find someone else on chapter 34. I want to find someone on exact same level. Because that other dude is just absolutely boss mode, like crazy. You know what? Let's try him one more time, and then we'll then we'll call it a day. Let's try this guy. Love. Let's go. What other team can we try? What other? Okay, I wanted to try this quickly. It's probably not going to work. I just wanted to have the Wukong against that Athalia, so we get a free clone at the start. See how it goes. Probably not going to go well. Uh, just got obviously just the standard comp. We've just taken out the Aziz for the lockout, and I just. Because I just feel like the lockout wasn't really getting us there because the Flora could still do whatever she wanted. So let's see how this goes. So we get the free clone, which is free damage. Also, we get the slows, which is nice. So Ezio is going to pop pretty soon. And once again, if we had that item, it would be so much better as well. Wukong pops, which is good. So there goes there goes the Taylene into the first execute. She's going to be back really quick because it's her first revive, which is cool, which is cool. We might have to put Rowan up the front, uh, up the top, actually. Because I feel like that's where he's going to get more stuns. He's not really getting any stuns where he's at at the moment. Um, Ezio's down. Okay, let's let's swap it up. Uh, do we have a chance against this? Nah, this stall team is just too, it's too good for me. Okay, let, let's do that again. So let's do formations. We'll collect this one. Yes, and then we'll remove you. Put you there. Put you there. And then we'll put Wukong in. Let's let's see this. Let's try this. Last last attempt. And then we just gotta admit that we're no good at the game. Okay, so Rowan, getting the stuns, which is good. 
Uh, obviously, the Wukong gets the jump back, but then we get the stun. Wukong pops. Taylene healing up. Okay, their Wukong has gone, and so has their Taylene. And the Flora. The Flora just has some big damage. Twins, give us the immunity. Heal up. Ezio, get that threshold. Start dealing some damage. Okay, and then we get shredded. We, uh, this, this guy's good. Anyway, I, 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 I'm going to admit defeat there. Uh, I'll definitely make another video talking about him. Obviously, I'm not the most experienced endgame PvP player in the world. So once I talk to some more guys from the guild and see how they're going, uh, I'll get back to you guys on the state of Ezio. Uh, the next video we do with Ezio will probably be on my Celestial Hub Gene account, which is that sort of chapter 20. What are we in? Chapter 27. Um, and see how he goes there. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to wait a little bit before I collect him. I'm going to wait sort of towards the end of the event um, before I do collect him. And then eventually we will test him there. But I definitely think early game is good. I definitely think he's got a place at this end game. But uh, obviously I'm fighting enemies better than me. And... Uh, I don't have the knowledge. <laughs> anyway, that is going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.